J. Welcome to Mathematics 7. So for today, we have subtraction of integers using a number line. We have a number line here, 0 at the middle, and positive numbers to your right, negative numbers to your left. So how are we going to subtract integers using a number line? Example, 5 minus 2. The sign of our first number is positive, therefore, we're going to use a yellow arrow. Let's start at zero, five units to your right. So we have five minus two, so we can use a red arrow. That means two units to your left. That's why we have three. Five minus two equals three. So that is the basic subtraction of integers. How about the second one? 4 minus 9. First is copy the first number. We have 4. Second is to change our subtraction sign to addition sign plus. Third, change our second number to its opposite sign. This is a positive number, therefore we're going to change it to negative 9. That means 4 minus 9 is equal to 4 plus negative 9. And then let's proceed to addition rule. First, again, let's start at 0. We have a positive number. We're going to use a yellow arrow. That means 4 units to your right. And plus negative 9, we're going to use a red arrow. 9 units to your left. That means 4 plus negative 9 is equal to 5. Same with 4 minus 9 is equal to negative 5. Third example, 2 minus negative 5. Copy the first number. 2. Change our subtraction sign. 2 addition sign plus 3 is to change our second number to its opposite sign. Since this is a negative number, we're going to change it to positive number. That means 2 minus negative 5 is equal to 2 plus 5. And then proceed to addition rule. Since our first number is positive, we're going to use a yellow arrow. And let's start at 0. That means 2 units to your right. Plus 5, again we're going to use a yellow arrow. That means 5 units to your right. And we have 7. So 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. That means 2 minus negative 5 is equal to 7. Another example, negative 6 minus 3. Again, copy the first number, negative 6. Change subtraction sign to addition sign plus third. Change our second number to its opposite sign. This one is positive. Therefore, we have negative 3. That means negative 6 minus 3 equals negative 6 plus negative 3. And let's proceed to addition rule. Our first number is negative. We're going to use a red arrow. That means 6 units to your left plus negative 3 again we're going to use an, a red arrow that means 3 units to your left so we have negative 9 that means negative 6 plus negative 3 equals negative 9 same with negative 6 minus 3 is equal to negative 9 last example Negative 8 minus negative 11. First, copy the first number. Negative 8. Change the subtraction sign to addition sign. So we have plus. Third is to change our second number to its opposite. That is negative 11. Therefore, we have positive 11. And that means negative 8. Minus negative 11 is also equal to negative 8 plus 11. 
And then let's proceed to addition rule. Our first number is negative, therefore we're going to use red arrow. That means 8 units to your left. And then plus 11, that means we're going to use yellow arrow, 11 units to your right. So we have 3. That means negative 8 plus 11 is equal to 3. Negative 8 minus negative 11 is equal to 3. So for subtraction rules, we have only two. First is to apply, copy, change, change. Copy the first number. Change the subtraction sign to addition sign. Third is to change the second number to its opposite sign. Second is to apply the addition rule. 